Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot more so join me this friday and every other friday on youtube at exactly 7 pm you missing you miss out yeah it's the other corner talk show hello good evening welcome to another beautiful episode of the others corner talk show and today is friday tgif thank god it's friday and when it's friday it's others corner day yes don't forget that others corner is proudly sponsored by paul hotel Liz beauty touch limelight studios and series creative collection yes it's another beautiful evening and as always i bring to you the guests that you want to see Yes, the guests don't want to see the story, don't want to see the other corner, as always, is a platform where I give people to come tell their stories, to come share their ideas, ideas that you will be interested in, I will be interested in, and everyone will be interested in. So to me on other corner, I have another handsome young man. I need a call to open in my corner. <laughs> yes, you know, now the corner we get the juice. So whosoever the corner, the other corner, forget the juice. <laughs> so me on other corner, I have a very handsome young man. He looks good. I like his outfit. No one will go for see him. He's Ambassador Sheku Foyo. He's the Chief Executive Officer for Youth and Children's Advocacy Panel. Good evening and welcome to Others Corner. Good evening, thank you for having me. All right, I told my guest you are looking good. I like the outfit. Thank you. Feel free for bluff. You're on Others Corner. Cut your foot anywhere you want. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I hope you don't get trouble for Kaya this At evening. all not. I'm all right. safe. All right. Tell me, take me through the journey of Ambassador Sheku Foyo. First of all, your academic journey. Ah, okay, it's sweet. Uh, back then, I grew up in a, in a community where in, we have different types. And I come from a rural home. Oh. My grandfather was a parliament chief mm -hmm. and then in Kono. And then in a, small, in a small community where I grew up in Kono, we have a community school. Later, my mom thought that uh, as a young boy, I, I should not be in a community school. Yeah. That I should be in a private school. And one of the most popular schools in Kono, that is um, Ali Bili Bili School. Oh, yeah. So I grew up there and I write my, my exams and I start to come back in Freetown, wherein I started at um, New Frontier Academy, Olengema Road from Kono as well. And back then, I, I started um, at UCC. United Christian Church in Freetown at Tawail. And then I started at um, Richard Allen High School, wherein I, I was the first head boy in that school oh, wow. because it's a boys and girls school. So basically, um, the school we don't have, it's a, it's a girls dominated school. So we just have a little bit of boys. And I was somehow became the first head boy in the school. And later, I have a scholarship to read my first uh, diploma course in SOS College. And I also have an uh, opportunity to read at Accra, Ghana, one of my leadership courses in the degree. And um, this year, 2021, um, I'll be reading my master's degree in Cyprus International University. And I'll be traveling next week. Oh, thank God I host you before you travel. <laughs> ah, yes, 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 yes. I host them before you go. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is inspiring. This is inspiring. What led you to venture into this youth and advocacy thing? Back then, uh, I started my career um, in the eastern part. And I uh, was lucky enough to join the Children's Forum Network CFN. And I started to be from a school branch president, and I started to lead a community, mm -hmm. and I started to lead the entire uh, eastern branch as president for the Children's Forum Network, and later become the male representative in the Child Rights Coalition. The Child Rights Coalition is a center body for all children's organizations in Salem that uh, speak on behalf of all organizations that want to talk about 
children's issues. So I was lucky enough to be the male representative in that uh, coalition and later become the vice president for Children's Phone Network. That's how this film started. Oh, I had the name Sheku Foyo rings a bell. So I told my producers, listen, we need to have this guy on my corner. <laughs> so all can we will get for Glenn Fenu for having you on the show and it's a pleasure. Yeah. All right, tell, tell me the journey of the youth and leadership. The youth, um, sorry. Yakap. Yakap, yes. Yes. Um, Back then in 2015, mm -hmm. I was crazy enough to think that I could start a youth and child organization in my county after representing children in, in, in Switzerland, Geneva. I was up, up the plane and I thought uh, my time as president for Children's Home Network is coming to an end. Yeah. And I need to come back to Selin to start a youth and child organization. And I was sitting close to a young girl and I mentioned to her, do you, do you think that I could be, I could start this stuff? This is my dream, and I'm up this plane thinking about this vision. And she thought, listen, young man, if you have this dream and you really know you can pursue it, then I wish you all the best. Okay. In 2015, I was crazy enough that I could start it. Friends thought I was idealistic. Colleagues thought um, it's impossible. A lot of people. I didn't know anyone in the youth sector, okay. and back then, as a young boy coming up, I didn't have much to fund my project. I didn't have, I didn't know any donors that could at least tap to to support my dreams. But hope is what I held on to 2015 when I thought that this could be could be happen, and I started the ACAP in a small school in a small school, started having meetings there. And um, I will not talk about the, the struggle aspect. Let me talk about my success anyway. Yeah. So basically, today I have Yakap Leadership College. It's a free. And um, today I have one of the biggest youth, cent youth and child centers in Eastern, where in every Saturday and Sunday, young girls, young boys, um, it's a playing ground. They play. We have a lot of key things that um, we display for them. They use our uh, learning materials. We have books. We have a lot of key things that... Um, we have to at least educate young people. And we also have two different offices in East End because I grew up in East A lot of people say, ah, your, your programs are not being always taking it in the East. Yes, that is where I grew up. And then I thought I could start my acti 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 activities and um, key success in the Eastern part. All right. You represented Sierra Leone in? In a lot of conferences. In a lot of conferences. Tell me, how, how was it to represent Sierra Leone, a whole Sierra Leone, and Shaku Foyer is a representative? You know, when you represent Sierra Leone, you're representing others' corner, you're representing your, your organization, you're representing everything and every other thing that has to do with Sierra Leone. So how, how was it to represent Sierra Leone in those countries? Yes. Uh, one of my great success story was representing Sierra Leone in ECOWAS, and I'm the, the first the president of Equas Youth Camp. So I just resigned some weeks ago because I'll be leaving the county for like two to three years. Yeah. And then as a president for the Equas Youth Camp, so representing Selu in most of the 16 Africa county, uh, some people say, ah, this boy, I always in a fall the late now, so they can call up, <laughs> always a flight travel going on. But it's not an easy task. I have to pack down my speech, my project, my my vision statement for this country, and I have represented this country to the tip where he, my, my, my first representative was, my, my representation was with the, first, with the former president, Anes Baikoma, that was in, um, in Ivory Coast. I didn't know that the president would be part of this particular mm -hmm. delegation. And as a young boy, I was called upon to give a statement on behalf of my country. And the president asked the chairperson before me coming, who is this young man coming to give this statement? Mm. And then the chairperson said to him, it's a young boy from Selin, of course you might know him, it's Shepu Foyo. He said, ah, I know him, that boy there, Sabia. <laughs> and it was funny enough, you know, like, um, I delivered my statement, and he was the first person that stood up and said, I always believe in you, and you'll be the, the, the youth that will take this nation to a peak where you will never take that particular peak. And I'm happy today, despite my intervention in several youth, activities i have touched so many lives i've empowered young people i've been, I've, I've touched their lives to ensure that uh, the dreams come 
Okay, th th that, that was my next. That is my next question. The name Shekufoyo, like I said earlier, on rings a bell. And when you talk about Shekufoyo, oh, oh yeah, Shekufoyo, you have the empowerment already. You have your organization. You have represented Cyrene in various countries. How are you giving back to other youth? How are you giving back to society? Yes, uh, Yakap is a it's a old leadership cause uh -huh. because back then in tw in 2015. I have a structure and I have a dream and a vision. It's not about me, myself, for you. Sometimes when people said, you are the owner of this organization, I don't own any organization. Yeah. I'm just leading organizations. Yeah. And falling in love, I've just resigned from Yaka. And then a young man by the name of Solomon Mansai is taking leadership now. Uh, so basically, that is what we, we, we thought that could be the reality of what we want to preach out. It's not about me, myself. Yeah. It's about how impactful we can give to other young people to change their lives. So one of our projects was to have uh, the Youth Leadership Summit. Of course, we have that particular project every year in the world of Parliament to so 2018. So young people sit as parliamentarians. They discuss issues that are affecting them in their communities. They dialogue and come up to work. At the end of the day, we come up with a position paper, which myself take to the, to the press, to the Minister of Youth, and the Minister of Youth take with that particular uh, position paper to the Office of the President. That has been an implementation that we have done for the past uh, uh, three years and it's a project that will continue to, to, to go. So specifically we also have uh, a key project that we thought uh, it's a nice initiative to at least see best we could touch the lives of young people to establish Yaka Leadership College. That is my dream and has always been dreaming of that and today we have established a particular college and maybe by April the college will start and it's a free for all young people. We we'll do a lot of courses that are technical, vocational courses, leadership, project writing, entrepreneurship. These are courses that would change the life set of young people. Okay, are they enrolled? <laughs> You're welcome, and it's free. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Having a college, um, how do you go about having this college in a country like ours? We know when it comes to youth having colleges or being an entrepreneur or having a show like mine, there are so many challenges. So how lucky are you? Yes, um, I dream big, honestly. I always dream big, but I start in a very small ways. Okay. And I don't let um, people who say you cannot make it thought me and I think about them anyway. So I have, back then, as I mentioned earlier on, I didn't know anyone in the youth sector. I didn't know plan, I didn't know restless development, I didn't know save the Chile. I didn't know all of these organizations. But guess what? This organization today, that I'm part of, they support my dreams, support my aspirations, they believe in what I'm, what I'm about to do, and they believe in my leadership course, because guess what? This organization has spent a huge amount of money to build my capacity as individual. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here today, they have wasted millions of, 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 of dollars to, to build my personal capacity. So guess what? These organizations will have slid to continue to build my capacity and as well take this nation to another level. So if you believe in yourself, you work hard, you have faith, then things that you think is impossible will then come to reality. So that is what I always believe at. And that is what always my success stories became a, a public uh, a story. Ah, having to um, have this college for free for young people, it's a very good initiative, I must confess. But how... How are you going to pay your lecturers? Or you don't have lecturers? How are you going to do it? Take me through that process. Uh, sometimes back then in AYV, mm -hmm. mentioning that a question was also asked. I have young people that have as well built their capacity for the past six, six, six years. Mm -hmm. These people want to give back to society. These are people who have also been uh, a, 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 dig, a degree older in a lot of areas. They want to give back to Yaka. Because they have a, a point, a build their capacity throughout their, their career. So they want to give back. The only way they can give back is to volunteer and serve as lecturers in the leadership college. So that is how we map out our lecturers and how volunteers, lecturers from, from uh, Fabric College, from IPAM, from JALA. So we have a lot of young people who have lecturers now in this particular university that want to give back to Yakap Leadership College. Are they going to volunteer forever? I mean, they're not go for, you're not going to pay them to say, you just go for the, then go for the continue for the volunteer. 
Well, as per agreement, I have agreement with them. Okay. And um, I know my donors will support the initiative. And whatever comes in, they know, then definitely. Volunteer is not about uh, volunteers, you know, pay me. No, that is the perception of selling. Mm -hmm. no, when you volunteer, you have specific stipend Stop. that you're going to receive. Okay. So giving them stipend. And they're going to receive that particular. They have a lot of facilities given to them. Imagine it's free. We're not, give, we're not receiving money from people. So we're having donors that they want to support this team that thought that this is a unique beam and want to support their situation because we have the President's flagship program in the particular leadership college. So at least come up with, um, we know a lot of people failed to us and they couldn't go to, to university or college. But we have, um, if you have your three or four credits, then we can enroll you. You can do your vocational courses there. You can start your diploma or certificate courses. From there, you can go to the university. And guess what? We're still working out with online a college from Accra where, where, where I get my leadership course. And of course, maybe um, I also talk to the leadership, the, my, my, my current college I'll be enrolling next week at uh, Ego to at least see how best they could partner with Tiaka. All right, this is awesome. So what are some of the courses you'll be offering at the college? Yes, we'll be doing um, leadership courses, project yeah. writing, report writing. Um, and for that, we have also uh, social work. We have um, entrepreneurship. We have a lot of courses we we'll, we'll package for young people. And it's 10. We started with 10 courses 10 for now. Courses. Yeah, exactly. All right, OK. Sheku. You, you wrote project for AYV or programs when you were at AYV yes. at some point? Yes, back then um, we, start, um, we started a children's program at AYV and then that was when I was in, in the children's form network okay. and it was successful back then and then yes I'm also a project writer and then of course I had projects for a lot of people and then yes specifically I worked with AYV sometimes back then and currently, I work with them. So you can forget projects for other corner. Definitely, I'll do that. <laughs> All right, the, 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 the youth children, pardon me, children, youth and children advocacy, advocacy panel. panel. Yes, what are some of the criteria for you to have members? If I grab now, say I want to be part of the organization, am I welcome? Okay. We have our website, we have okay. Facebook page, which is always uh, morning, frequently, WhatsApp. You can attend our meetings as long as you're out. The constitution said, the day you attend meetings, you're part of the oh, wow. Just an attendance of meetings. If you're given a, a membership form, receive a certificate of membership, and then you continue your courses. And we to have a leadership screen for you because you cannot be a member of the and we don't have specific stuff how to guide you. We want to guide you for that when you be out of the public, they will know that this is a member of the the way by talking, by doing things. So, okay, this is part of Yaka. This individual is part of Yaka because mm -hmm. these are some of our key things we've been teaching them. So, specifically, these are member of Yaka. Okay, so the moment you, you, you buy form or the form is free? Free. Free. You're a member of Yaka. Exactly. Now, in a country like us, when um, everything you do is commitment, you cannot be, if you're not, if you don't want to be committed to something, you should not be part of it. And people might want to come to Yakab because of the opportunities, you know, the conferences and every other thing. So how do you do that? You know, we get black sheep all side. Everybody go on for camp and say, I want to be part of Yakab because I want to catch part of the fame of Sheku for you. Yes, sure. And they don't want to be committed to the vision of Yakab. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a competition, oh. basically. Like every Sunday we see a lot of young people we have the different activities. We have debate, we have quiz, we have poem. So it's debate, we have competitions. So basically, the first day you come, you find this something very attractive. And we, we have your theme. Like, ah, oh, this is my theme, and I can do this. This is what I want to do for a while, and I believe I can do this. So you have something that has inspired you already. And what's left to you is to see about, you can tap into that particular committee so that you can learn and then you could tap up to your themes. If you want to write projects like how I'm writing projects, we have a specific committee for that. If you want to be a journalist, we have a specific committee for that. If you want to act dramas, we have a committee for that. If you want to be a best debater, we have a committee. We have committee in all aspects. If you want to become uh, an art, you want to become musicians, every, every stuff. 
about youth development, we have a specific committee for that. So it's just left to you for you to tap into that particular opportunity and grab it. So yes, you could come the first day and you see and say, oh, I don't want to be a member again. But honestly, if you come then in our meetings, you'll see what inspires you, then definitely you tap into that. And uh, yes, basically we have some constraints on that, but we also take people that are very serious to international platforms. Like we, we, uh, quite recently in, in December, most of our guys can present selling in Egypt, and um, in Accra. So basically, these are people that we thought they have been, always been active in our project. So that is why we, we, we select them to attend main, main international conference. Okay, still on the, the, the college, what, what criteria should someone have? Just that like we have University of Sierra Leone, for the college, for example, if I'm going to read mass communication, I'm a mass student, mm -hmm. so let me talk about mass <laughs> If I'm going to read mass communication, there's a certain requirement yeah, you yeah. must have to enroll into the mass And apart from the requirement, you need to sit an entrance exam as well. But in your case, the criteria, what requirement should someone have to enroll into your college? <coughs> yes, um, I don't take WAS. Serious, honestly, me, I don't take what serious in this country. Why? In 2015, I took work to, to the court because I'm the young gentleman who took work to court. We are in. We have a lot of people who fail the WAS exam. They do, they, they see the results, yeah. and I have the bold mind to take work to, work to court. And funnily enough, I, I was able to like a best they could release most of the results. A lot of people pass WAS at that time. I accept the credit. Because I've seen a lot of people who <coughs> have potentials, but because of us, those potentials are swept away. Oh. They want to pursue to the university, but they're very smart. I've met them, a lot of them, but they couldn't have five credits, including mm -hmm. math and English. So they're sitting in the community. Some girls are now pregnant, some have two ch kids, three, and they leave their, 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 their dreams have shattered. So specifically, I don't take that for serious, but I also motivate them to have WAS anyway in, in, the, in, 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 my, in, my, in my most discussions, because that is your tool to take it to an university. But I told not, you can start somewhere. Where you could start? You could start a vocational stuff. You can do a makeup, like the individual that puts your makeup. Very beautiful, okay? You can start to do uh, uh, tailoring, character dyeing, okay? Start the particular stuff. If I tell you that, that my creative work that I do, you say, ah, why don't I do that creative work? Yes, I do that. Because despite my degree, despite my, 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 my PhD or my master's, I have to do uh, a course that will take me to a place where I always want to be. Yeah. Because sometimes degree is just an office work. But I have to be in, whole, in, in my house doing some things that is very creative and essential. So specific, that is what I always do. And also what I want other young people to do. What should not stop you to achieve your dream? Try to do something, at least, that will start something that will still change your life. Mm -hmm. Some people here in Sierra Leone, my friends in Ghana, when I visited Ghana, they do online beats. She said, for I don't want to go to the university anymore. I just want to be a master's in doing beats, in making beats. I said, why? She said, because this beat gives me a lot of money. I will tell you for free, there are a lot of graduates now to the Fabi College. They don't have a job. Because they didn't do something that is very creative back then. So I'm advising all young people to be creative. Like me, myself, I don't need a job. A lot of people have liked me, you come and work with me, I don't need a job. I have a sustainable job for myself. And I have ways how I can get one or two source income for myself. Because I am creative to think back then in 2015 to establish Yakap. So that I'm safe. And I have a lot of people working for me. And they're sustaining themselves. So think how best you can create a job for yourself. This is what we, this is the 21st century now. So think that, oh, I want to go to university, I want to read mass comms, I want to read uh, law, I want to be this, that, no. Think high, sometimes start slow. Always be creative. If my friend there in Accra can told me back then that she don't want to go to university, she wants to be a master's and make it beats, and she has a lot of money. Including myself, calling myself CEO. He said, for those names, it's not working here. Think about doing creative stuff. And I said, I want to do creative stuff, but it, I will link it up with my book. And I do project writing in my leadership course back then in Accra. Guess what? In each project that I, made, that I wrote, it gives me a lot of money. So specifically, we need to be, what is our dreams? What we want to do? 
and think um, creative. Think creative. Continue to tell me he's ambassador, Sheku Foyo, the chief executive officer for Youth and Children's Advocacy Panel. Yes. Yes. I get it right. All right. Don't forget that Order's Corner is proudly brought to you by Limelight Studio, Pal Hotel, Liz Beauty Touch, and CS Creative Collection. We go for a short break. When we come back, we shall continue the conversation. Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their story and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot more so join me this friday and every other friday on youtube at exactly 7 pm you missing you miss out yeah it's the other corner talk show Hello, welcome back. You are still with the Order's Corner talk show. And don't forget that Order's Corner is proudly brought to you by Paul Otter, Live Night Studio, Lee's Beauty Touch, and Series Creative Collection. And please don't forget to subscribe, 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 and put the notification button on. So whenever we upload a new video, you'll be the first to watch it. I have a very handsome man. And I tell you, say Order's Corner, and I get the juice. We have a session where we discuss formal things about your achievements, your journey, and everything. But the second segment is all about juicy things. And I know Ambassador Foyer is ready for me. <laughs> so welcome back. Welcome back to the Order's Thank Corner. You. And feel relaxed. No worries. Yeah, sure. we, we'll get there. This Thank is Order's Corner. And in my corner, as you see in the film, I discuss everything, and at the corner, this will get the juice. So, not afraid for talking at night. Yeah, sure, that's nice. Yes, and the first question I want to ask you: I've been following you on Facebook, most especially on Facebook, and I and I love what you do. You know, in uh, in um in Africa, should I say in Africa or in the world at large, to see a very young man like you and some young man doing this, the things you do, you must don't get baby there, we don't they? you know, come at oh for your oh for your give me your number for you. So do you have such? Don't you baby not they watch this. <laughs> uh first of all that uh, is the reality. Yeah. And then um, but that would just destroy my career back. Yeah. Because I do believe that uh, if I have more goals, my <laughs> career will just um shut up just like that. And then um, I come from a real home, I mentioned that earlier on. Yeah. And we have a lot of descriptions when we the boys barriers and goals. So I come from a very street home. My, my mom, she's a community health worker and my dad is a community um, volunteer as well. He's a politician. And then we have specific descriptions because we don't want, they don't want their son to be, to, to be um, that kind of, um, what should I say? So basically that is it. So I always be careful with goals. And um, yes, I always be careful with God oh, yeah, because yeah. my dad told me back then that um, I always need to be careful if I want to be a successful young man in the future. I always need to be careful. I work with God. In fact, most of my projects, I empower a lot of God. You understand? I empower them. But guess what? When it comes to personal stuff, relationship, I'll always be careful because I don't want my career to be just blunt like that because I have a very long future to go. And then, yeah, basically that is it. But the other part of the talk is you're in a relationship. Basically, uh, that is questions I don't want to answer now. Mm. I was in a relationship back then, last year, but now I'm not in a relationship. Oh. And then, yes, I just want to focus on my education and then try to see our best. Uh, I could come back after two or three years back with my master's, start something new or start another family. But I was in a relationship, five years relationship, oh. and then, but because of one or two stops, then we shattered. But I do believe that a uh, lot of people have started calling me to start back the relationship, but I just want to break, and then, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, on behalf of myself and my production team, we hope you get back to the five years relationship. <laughs> oh, we pray for a better future. Yeah, sure. So, tell, tell me, um, 
Yo, are you a... Normally I call them stiff person, I'm sorry. You know, you have these people where they are so focused on their education and their jobs and everything. They don't have, they don't have time for themselves. Yeah. You know, they don't go out and even if you make fun with them, they are be like... <laughs> even for smile self yeah, now. Sure. So I hope you're not a stiff guy. Yes, um, I'm kind of. Ah. Because... I do believe that uh, my job, sometimes I mention that, that I love my job more than my girlfriend. And she can buy a cream. Mm. And I love this job more than you. So specifically, this is my passion. I just have you because I don't want people to think that this guy is not in college woman. He talk for woman in 24 hours. He did pan this, he did pan that, he talk for woman. But you don't get girlfriend. So sometimes, even when I go to dinner, some award programs that people give to me, and um, I don't take girls along. But sometimes I manage to take girls along. You manage to take girls, and these girls you take along and you are not your girlfriends? Yes, specifically, but it's a time process, and I believe that um, I'm not an activist anymore, a youth and child activist, because I want to be uh, another profession, because starting my journey by next week, I will have another new life, live with another new people, because in Europe, um, I have read a lot of things about them, and then I know I'll be safe and I'll be back coming next four or five years back and I know everything will be okay. But I just want to stay away from God because God's are very... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. No, don't say that. I'm here. I mean, how could you say that God's No, are meaning I respect them. Mm -hmm. I know you do. I love my kids' sisters. I have two lovely sisters mm -hmm. I love so much. Mm -hmm. I love my mom so much. And then throughout my careers, I've been working for God. I empower them so much. But in terms of uh, I've learned so much from them as well. So that is why sometimes I smile to them and find my, my face at the end. Uh, uh, so, uh, you have people that do admire you the most. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, yes. sure. And you have people that you admire as well. Exactly. So, are you bold? You know, they call them crush. They call yeah. it crush. Say, I'm crushing on you. I love the way you talk or I love the way you dress. I love the way you speak, your perfume and every other thing. So, do you have people that you really crush on and you get in mind for go meet them and say, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> what about the crush on you because you find why they drink you, for example? Yes. Uh, you know, back then, uh, this young gentleman, we used to play together. I used to be his mentor. And later on, Kelvin was somehow always up there. But I have know. something in Kelvin though. Kelvin though. Yes, okay. Kelvin though. Um, I know you watch you watch this video and you say, ah, you really admire me, not tell me. <laughs> so Kelvin is my friend back then. Right. And then I know we, we, we have a lot of key things that we do together. But I always admire Kelvin because Kelvin is always focused. Sometimes people call him DJ Focus. And um, because Kelvin is focused, and I admire him for that. Because I, I like people that is always focused. And I have another young person as well, which is um, Banky W. I meet with him in 2016. Since then, we started chat, and I started follow his movement, and I fell in love with Banky W. He's my mentor, and then we have been chatting for a while. And I have a lot of people that are motivate me always every blessed day. And I have five people that I always watch their status when I woke up in my, in my bed. I go through their status every morning. So specifically, I have those people, and they have been a mentor to me throughout. All right, this is awesome. You know, I don't want to let you go because the conversation keeps going and keeps going. I want to know more about talking behind the scene. So my viewers don't get jealous. <laughs> we'll say it behind the scene. I, I just want to blush a little bit. So look at my frame. It's in a corner. She discusses everything. It's the Others Corner talk show. And of course, this here, it's Others Corner. And in a corner, she discusses everything. Tell me, what do you think about Others Corner? Is there something I need to work on? Honestly, I need this because this keeps me going. Yes. Mm. Um, I like your, your, your vision. Oh. Back then, I was thinking like this. I know a lot of people where I think, I've said to you, you cannot make it, um, you're just wasting your time, yeah. your resources, there's no small money where you get, but tell you find, where you find clothes, so you can put them on camera, mm -hmm. and put on a YouTube. These are some things you always receive, because I receive them too, but guess what? So the same people are working for me. So the same people that are saying this, try to always um, work hard, believe in yourself, have faith in Allah, and believe in what you, you, you keep people of doing then you could reach to a peak that you want to be. This is the first starting point, and I like it. But just try to think big, like I always said to you the other earlier on. 
think big always starts more like how like this and always have partnership i have a lot of partnership that has been one of my success stories you see i could start i could tell you that i have i'll do program tomorrow you say ah for you i go get this money i said don't worry i have partners this partner will support me and have this program come up successful so always think big and find a lot of partners when you have partners and your, your activities will come up successful and guess what before leaving this county i'll help you on that aspect to do a project plan so you can have partners. Thank you so much. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to cry. I don't want yeah. to win my makeup. Thank you so much, I'm Ambassador Shoko Foyer. Dream big, work on yourself, have faith. Listen, this is not only a show, it's also a learning platform. When, I, when my, my guests are here, they tell you things that you want to know. The other day we have Linda Bull and we have Ambassador um, Barry and he said to be consistent and Sheku Foya is telling us to dream big, have faith and go for what you want to do. Yes, this is how I leave you with another episode of the Others Corner Talk Show. Don't forget to subscribe and put your notification button on so whenever we upload a new video, you'll be the first to watch it. Don't forget that Others Corner is proudly sponsored by Limelight Studio, Liz Beauty Touch, Pearl Hotel, and CA's Creative Collection. To meet again next week with another beautiful episode of the Others Corner Talk Show, I have been your host, Order a Niam Beisano. Goodbye. Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Order's Corner is here for you. Yes, Order's Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship, and a lot more. So join me this Friday and every other Friday on YouTube at exactly 7 p.m. You missing, you miss out. Yeah, it's the Others Corner Talk Show.